You know, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. I was just thinking, who is this Republican individual that I can recognize as being a substantial and challenging candidate for the president of the United States in 2024? And uh, for me, I see uh, Liz Cheney. She seems to have a handle on it. Think she's intelligent enough to deal with various situations that uh, the government or anybody in particular power would be having to deal with. I think she's just as qualified as anybody else to deal with it. Plus, the woman got balls. You know, like DeSantis and this guy down in Texas and Cruz and those guys. They 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 could they can't even stand in the same room <laughs> with Miss Cheney. Now. Uh, the brother that's standing there with her, I got to give him, I got to give him his credit. The only, uh, the only thing that uh, kind of slows me and put her ahead of him is because she is a female. And so her position really is more threatening and more challenging and more resistant than he is. You know, he's a man, so you would expect him to do this, but But this woman, man, <laughs> she she's giving it to him. She's giving it to the. She represents the whole Republican Party, whether you know it or not. Now I understand she goes along with Donald Trump uh, about ninety percent of the time. But I can understand that if she's raised as a conservative, she believes in conservatism, and she's going to act like that until she's changed. And just and you know, and I understand that she has been a willing to. Uh, submit herself under the rule of others in power. So I think she's a pretty good individual. Now this gentleman, Ken Zinke, I can't keep remembering that name. That's why I didn't call it up, to, up front. I, it just eludes me. Every time I think of his name, I think about some other guy <laughs> that's in Russia or someplace. So I don't call his name that much unless I'm reading it. But what I really want to say, ladies and gentlemen, is this. For me, it is easy. When I look at all the resources of the earth, and I know that they came from a power that other than we human beings, and I know that everything that uh, we human beings create comes from those free resources, and they serve the purpose for which they are created. And to me, these things, these resources benefit all human beings. And if human beings engage themselves in the process of creating all the stuff that they create, and they have the opportunity to do it in such an abundance that it can meet the needs of those who don't have, and get guaranteeing that everybody can have, to me, you can't beat that. To me, that is why the resources are here. To me, that is why we got the gifts and the talents to be able to utilize them in creating those things that have come through our mind to cause us to progress and be creators. To me, that's what it's all about. It has nothing to do with money. Money is a scam. It's a part of the con game. It is a part of the lie. It is a part of the deception to cause somebody to pretend like they are more important like Trump know everything the soul system is designed to say that some people are important you know the king the queen they think they're more important royalty they ain't nothing but just like you and I but they playing the game and we've been suckered to play that game too and they play that money while they ride around on horses and call themselves the richest people on earth and going up in the moon doing all kinds of things and we sitting on the street corners wondering how we gonna get our house fixed because we are allowing this crap to continue. Now to me, waking up means that you realize, hey, if what, we, what, what if you were living like that? Would you want somebody to wake you up? Of course you would. So if waking up, it's not going to cost you anything except for those who want to have power over others. Now, you're going to have to lose that. You're going to have to lose that. But other than that, everybody's needs are met. Hey, 
That way, you don't have to worry about who's president or who's king or who's queen. Hey, because you, my friends, you are the winners. Every last one of us. Till next time, Eddie.